when you see folks like NBA Youngboy look up and have the most streamed music on YouTube all together, what goes through your mind at those times when you're thinking, you just came in here, now you're the biggest thing in hip hop? Yeah, no, it's uh, for me, like I mentioned, I saw the work ethic mm. and I saw how much he made the videos and things of that nature, you know. Um, so, and it made sense because the narrative is compelling. Mm. People are interested in him. Yeah. Right? And, it, and it makes sense because he is what they call an enigma. Yep. He is an interesting person, mm -hmm. you know? And so now, just that natural draw mixed with that work ethic, mm -hmm. mixed with shooting four or five videos mm -hmm. in a week, mixed with having kind of taught his audience where to find him. Yeah. Right? Some people teach their audience to find them on um, SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Some people have taught their audience to find them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram. I promote Instagram. Yeah. Some people are really te te now teaching their audience to find them on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But he has always taught his audience, I'm on YouTube. Where the money is at? Where the money resides? <laughs> yeah, the money resides. <laughs> where know? the money but, resides? But you know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you. Now, to get the, the more streams on Spotify does make more money than more Ooh. streams on YouTube. Yeah. But I feel like that YouTube kind of thing also blows up your personality. Yeah, more the visuals. It gives you more opportunity to create the other streams of income that might come from yep. the visual because of the visual. Yeah. When it comes to diversifying that portfolio, the money's coming in and now you're trying to diversify. What are some of the things that people need to be looking into as far as, okay, I understand that this music is making me this money. How do I go about getting money from these other situations? So, you know, I feel like, first of all, that's when it comes down to having a good wealth manager. Mm. A good, you know, at this point, you should have had a, a good accountant, a good business manager, as they call it. Mm-hmm. And within that circle should be a wealth manager. Mm -hmm. And they should be someone who is able to show you things that meet your risk, your risk uh, level. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, you, you, we're seeing it all the time right now, especially in technology, mm -hmm. when we're seeing people like Nas, um, 2 chains, mm -hmm. right? Um, um, Rick Ross with the, with the chain of, of uh, chicken. Uh, yeah, wing stops. Wing yeah. stops, right? These things are like, I just love it. I love yeah. it because it's like the, that's the diversity that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then also I feel like people need to also remember to add a charity aspect, be a part of, you know, some good things. I, you know, I, I think I told you I work with a, like Youth Spark, yeah. right? I'm working with Youth Spark and I'm working with that, that really is attacking, um, it's, it's essentially Youth Spark started as attacking the child sex trafficking, yeah. right? First but has really expanded, we've expanded the mission for really any time that adults are taking advantage of, ch of youth, of, ch mm -hmm. of children. But, but child sex, sex trafficking is still the main cornerstone of Youth Spark. So, you know, we, I'm, you, you know people like myself, I'm engaged in on the board for Youth Spark. Mm -hmm. Or um, during the protests, we sent, you know, I sent thousands of boxes of mm -hmm. food to Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. just to support, you know, they had the, the grocery store had burned down Damn. during the protests. Yeah. Right? People kind of like, oh, well, y'all burned down your grocery store. Now you got no groceries, right? <laughs> so now they got, a, they got a grocery desert. Yeah. And now at that time, they were having Occupy, Louisville, Occupy, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I, you know, they were looking for lawyers to support, but I, I can't rep people in Kentucky because I'm not a Kentucky attorney. I don't have a bar number in Kentucky. So, mm -hmm. so my, myself and a guy, Latron Price, we, um, you know, we, we, we put 500 boxes a week for several weeks on a truck mm -hmm. of produce mm. and sent it up there. And they gave it to the community. You know, they, they had money, food for themselves and also food for the community up there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that you got to be willing to give also when you're talking about all the ways that you can get, all the ways you can diversify to receive. You also got to remember to be a giver, too, because I think that helps open up. I know it helps open up those opportunities. You know? Exactly. Exactly.